Hey everyone, we're here to talk about general assembly and disassembly of an Onyx Pro VMX set. To do this, you'll need an 8mm hex key, a 19mm socket, and a 2.5mm hex key. Begin by removing the axle bolts from the hub. Use your 8mm hex key, turn counterclockwise until the bolts are completely removed from the axle. Now that the bolts are removed, go ahead and remove the non-drive side end cap with a firm tuck. Next, take your 2.5 millimeter hex key and loosen the pinch bolt on your preload collar. The collar can be unthreaded counterclockwise from the axle. Now with the end cap and preload collar removed, you'll see the small cross hole on the non-drive side of the axle. Go ahead and slide your 2.5 hex key into this hole and use it to hold the axle in place while using your 19 millimeter socket to remove the drive side end cap. Turn counterclockwise to loosen. Partially unthread the end cap, but do not remove. You will use this to unseat the axle by pressing towards the non-drive side of the hub. Use the palm of your hand against the end cap while it is loose to unseat the axle. Once you've noticed the axle is protruding from the non-drive side, go ahead and unthread the end cap by turning the axle and pull the axle out from the non-drive side of the hub. Before proceeding further, go ahead and clean off any dirt and debris that may have collected on the surface between the driver and the hub shell. Once clean, a firm tug on the driver will remove it from the hub. Before reassembling the hub, inspect the labyrinth seal, the series of ridges against the hub shell, and the series of ridges on the back of the driver for any dirt and debris. Clean out before reassembly. The driver can be installed by plugging into the hub using a freewheel or counterclockwise rotation. Once the driver falls into the clutch, use the palm of your hand to seat the driver into the support bearing. Now before installing the axle through the non-drive side of the hub, you want to apply a small amount of medium thread lock onto the outer drive side threads. This will keep the drive side end cap from loosening during regular usage. You may now insert the axle through the non-drive side of the hub using the palm of your hand to seat into the support bearing on the non-drive side. You will see the axle protrude through the drive side once seated. Go ahead and thread on your drive side end cap and then use your 2.5 millimeter hex key to hold the axle and your 19 millimeter socket to snug down the end cap. End cap does not need much torque. Shoot for one to three newton meters when tight. Now to ensure that everything is seated properly, Place the drive side end cap face down on your workbench and gently press on the hub. This will move everything towards the non-drive side. You may now install your preload collar with a clockwise rotation until it just touches the bearing. You may hold the drive side end cap to keep the axle from rotating while performing this adjustment. Next, take your 2.5 millimeter hex key and tighten the pinch bolt on your preload collar. The non-drive side end cap can now be installed with the firm press and the axle bolts can be installed loosely on the hub to prep for your preload adjustment on the bike. Now let's get this on the bike to finalize your preload adjustment. Once your hub is installed in the dropouts, verify that your axle bolts are both tight and snugly to riding torque spec. Next, take your 2.5 millimeter hex key to loosen the pinch bolt on your preload collar. The preload collar can be rotated counterclockwise to loosen preload which will cause side-to-side -side play in the hub, or clockwise to add preload to remove side-to-side -side play. Too much preload will cause bearing drag. You want to adjust until you find the sweet spot and then tighten the pinch bolt using your 2.5 millimeter hex key. Once tight, you're good to go and ready to get back on the track.